Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I created a look inspired by Bad Girl Riri, and I thought it would be a fun look to recreate since it's very editorial and not your everyday makeup, which is very different from what I typically do. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I recreated this look, then please just keep watching. To save some time, I already did my foundation and I used the Ultra Fresh Powder Foundation that actually has 18 karat gold in it. Why you need gold on your face? I don't know, but it felt really fancy so I gave it a go. Moving on to the eye look, I started off with the Benefit Eyeshadow in Blushing Bride. The name couldn't be more accurate with this one because it's such a gorgeous pale pink that it's just so flattering on any skin tone. I'm just going to take a shading brush and I'm going to apply the pink eyeshadow all over the lids. Next I'm taking the color Shallow. This color is the perfect transition color. It's a pale peach and it just gives the eye such a warm look. Rihanna doesn't have too much going on her eye, but I can see a peach color on her transition zone, so I think that this is the perfect shade. I'm just taking a blending brush here and I'm going to blend that color above the crease just to add in some definition and warm up the entire look. Lastly, I'm going to use Soft Shoulder, which is a medium brown color. Like I said before, Rihanna doesn't have too much going on her eyes because the focus of the look is mainly the lips and the lashes, so I wanted to use a light brown to contour the eyes rather than a darker brown which would smoke out the eyes. Here I'm taking a crease brush and I'm going to apply the color on my crease which is on your eye socket. I'm just going to be using window wiping motions to contour the eyes and deepen the look a little bit. Then I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush and run it along the crease to blend out any harsh lines. Next I'm going to be using these long dramatic false eyelashes because in the picture Rihanna had a really long pair on and it looked so gorgeous. Um, but m mine, mine failed miserably for me by the way, I had to edit all those parts out obviously. But basically just try to get some long wispy lashes onto your eyes in any way you can. And through the magic of editing, here we are with my lashes on. I also added mascara to my lower lashes, but that part cut out for some reason, but yeah, your eyes should look like this so far. I had no blue lipstick, so I'm going to be using the number 9 eyeliner from Kors. It's made from all natural ingredients, so it's safe to put on your lips. I'm just going to fast forward this part since it's pretty self-explanatory. I'm basically just outlining my lips a little and filling them in with a dark blue pencil. I also realized that this blue is a much darker shade than what Rihanna had on, but I fixed that later on the video, but for now just keep watching this part. Now I'm going to use another coarse eye pencil in number 12. This one's actually a mint color, but it would blend in with the dark blue, which will create a light sky blue color. I'm using the shade on the inner part of the lips to give the lips an ombre effect. This step is completely optional, of course, but I thought it would add a nice touch rather than having a flat blue color. To blend out the look a little, I just rub my lips together like so. Then I do the exact same steps on my upper lip. Lastly, I'm just using my finger to blend it out since this is a more effective way of blending both the colors out smoothly. Basically, 
believe that wraps up the entire look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to click on the down bar as I've linked the Strawberry Net website where I got all the goodies I used in this video. And don't worry, they are not affiliate links. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe and I'll see you again next time. Bye!